Happy Tuesday guys, we've got a lot of work to do today. So I'm gonna run through what that warm up complex looks like. However, I'm gonna be showing you guys what this looks like with a dumbbell today. Feel free to use a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever you guys have, but you're working a single arm. That's what SA stands for, single arm, one side first, then the other side. So first thing, you're gonna start off with those deadlifts. You're working on one side. Deadlifts go to hang cleans. You're staying hang power cleans. Then you're gonna go to that half kneeling press. So same arm, same leg. You're gonna come down into that lunge and you're gonna go into a press. Then you're gonna finish out with a walking lunge in that overhead position. You guys can stay stationary or you guys can walk around wherever you're at. The big thing that you're looking for is control and to make sure that your body is going straight up and down. You want to imagine there's a rod going through your head all the way through your spine and that does not teeter forwards or backwards when you go into these lunges. Even if that means you don't go all the way to the ground, that's okay. So you'll do that complex on one side and then switch, same thing on the other. Now, getting into our extended warm-up, you guys will set a 15-minute clock. You're looking for Turkish get-ups and flutter kicks. Turkish get-ups are slow and controlled. I recommend Googling Turkish get-ups. Play it as you guys do this movement so you guys can follow along at your own speed. The next movement is gonna be a flutter kick, single arm dumbbell or kettlebell, and then you guys will switch sides. So you're gonna look for 30 reps total, 15 on one side, 15 on the other. This is what that will look like. is that your back is flat into the ground. If you feel your low back bowing away from the ground, raise your feet up higher. If you feel it um, too easy or the, the movement feels not like it's challenging enough for you, try to lower your feet down right until you feel your low back break away. So that's gonna be your 15 minute kind of extended warm up. You're looking for three sets or 15 minutes, whichever happens first. Then you're gonna go into some pretty simple, sweaty workout Metcon movement. So, 800 meter run is your guys' buy-in. You guys can do a row if you would like to, you can do a bike, but you wanna match that 800 meters. If you're biking on a physical bike instead of a stationary bike, should be about something that you're working for three and a half minutes, four minute cap. Then you guys are gonna go into four rounds, 15 kettlebell swings, 50 double unders or double under attempts. If you don't have a kettlebell, you guys can use a dumbbell, that's totally fine. You're looking to go all the way up and overhead. With these dumbbell kettlebell swings, you guys can think of a snatch movement, which would look like this. You'll pick your kettlebell up or your dumbbell up and switch. If you're using a kettlebell, obviously you're gonna stay at your hips, you're not going to the floor each time. And you're going American kettlebell swings. Then you'll go into your double unders or single unders. Single unders should be working for a minute 30 minimum. If you're getting done before that, you need to switch to double under attempts where every one of your jumps counts. Uh, finisher, guys, is gonna be super simple. This is stuff that you know. Plank, hold, and push-ups. Really go through good reps on those push-ups. Your chest and thighs should be touching the ground. If you're not able to touch your chest and thighs to the ground, drop to your knees. You'll get stronger quicker that way. Log your guys' score on the whiteboard. Happy Tuesday. We'll see you there.